Objection. Hearsay. Unless the defense is planning to call God as a witness. Not funny, Miss Bonham. Nothing further, Your Honor. Ms. Wyckoff, you say that Carolyn left to go to a club with some guy. And yet not one person at your party saw this guy or Carolyn leave the house. How do you explain that? But the basement has a separate entrance. And what if I tell you that the cops question every club owner in town and no one saw Carolyn or this mystery man at a club that night? Well, they must have decided to go somewhere else. Gosh, that's unfortunate for you, isn't it? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained, Miss Bonham. I'm not going to warn you again. Okay, let's go with your story. Carolyn Hill and her mystery man were out on the town. They came home, went to the basement apartment for whatever. Then, for some reason, he pulls out a gun and shoots her. May I, Your Honor? So, here you are, asleep, almost directly above where Carolyn was shot five times. You didn't hear the five gunshots. I'm a deep sleeper. Yet you were awakened by the sound of a car leaving the house. Well, the party was really loud. Maybe she was shot during the party. But I thought you said she'd gone off with her mystery man. Well, maybe they left and then they came back. So they left the party and came back without anybody seeing them. And he shot her without anybody hearing it and then screeched off many hours later while you were asleep. Well, maybe he left earlier and then he came back. To the scene of the crime after he'd managed to flee unnoticed? I don't know. Killers do that all the time. I see it on those true crime shows, but I don't know. I can't explain it. I'll bet. Nothing further, Your Honor. 